All right, I want to test out my grow watt inverter that I took out of my system a couple months ago. I thought there was a problem with this. I think there's only a problem with the BMS, I mean, the communications board. So I don't really need that. I want to try to make an EV charger dedicated by itself. And I'm going to see, make sure this thing works. And I have some new batteries. I'm going to go ahead and test those out as well. So let's go ahead and get into it and open this up. I might as well go ahead and sit this on the ground, make it easier. All right, let's go ahead and get these battery cables hooked up. All right, so these should have the pre-charge resistor built in. Just want to make sure your inverter is in the off position. Positive to positive, negative to negative. All right, now this uh, pre-charge resistor should do its thing. We're just going to hit the breaker over here. I don't know if you can see those lights good. Got three lights on. Then run. All right, let's go ahead. Hit this on button. See what happens. All right, there we go. We can see. All right, so this is putting out power. No faults. And if you're wondering why I'm testing out this inverter, I was having a BMS communication problem. Then I started to have another problem because of this filter that I had on the PV line. I was getting that error code on the grow watt. I didn't know what was going on. So I ordered another inverter. I got the other, other inverter in, basically did the same thing. I was like, what is going on? So I started taking stuff out that might've been the problem. I took out this uh, inline filter for the uh, solar and the problem went away. So I don't think there's actually anything wrong with this inverter. That's why I'm testing it out. And if there's not, I'm going to make it a dedicated uh, EV charger so I can charge my car without I haven't used my regular system that's doing my house and eventually I'll build it up over time but as long as I can do it during the day hey I'll be happy so let's go ahead and check this voltage okay I'll show you where I'm going to measure at in here so you know you got AC in and AC out the AC out is on the bottom so the L and the N on here is going to be your line one and your line two basically so that's where your power is going to be on the right and the center. We're going to go ahead and measure on that 240 volts. So to me, that looks good. So, so far to me, this inverter looks like it's fine. Of course, you will be able to see when we really hook up the charger, plug it up to the car to see if it's going to charge. And of course, you probably would need more than one battery for this. But for just testing purposes, you know, we're just testing it with one battery. So we're going to go ahead and shut everything down. Get us some wire for the AC out and go ahead and get the plug hooked up so we can test the car out. So basically how you're going to shut this thing down, you know, you can go to just hit the off button on the grow watt and flip your breaker off on your battery. You're going to want to bleed the power off from the grow watt. So what I like to do is turn it back on, make sure all the power bleeds off. And usually it'll turn the screen back on for a little bit of power that may have been in the line and then it'll turn right back off and then just leave it off and you're going to be good to go. So let's go ahead and find us some wire for the AC out. Uh, all I got right here is red, green, and white. I'm just using it for testing purposes. So I'm just use the red and the green for the L1 and the L2. So let's go ahead and get this strip and put it in here. Basically, I got this NEMA 1030R. Just going to hook the wires up, the L1 and the L2, and see if it works without a ground. I'm not sure if it's going to charge the car without a ground, but we're going to try it. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing turned on again. Got it in the off position. Gonna hit this battery again, pre-charge. All right, it's got power going out to the house, which is the L1, L2. So let's go ahead, put the meter in there, see what we got on there. Got 240 volts. So let's go get the car, plug it in just to see if it works. We're not gonna leave it plugged in long. So I'm definitely not trying to, uh, charge it off this one battery or whatever i just want to see if the concept works and this inverter works for that all right and if it seems like we run into any problems i'll just hit the breaker on the grow watt to turn the power off so once i get it plugged in once i get it plugged in we should be able to see on the charger here if it's a fault or any kind of problem before we plug it into the car and I don't know if you can see that, but it's just saying power. As you can see, got it plugged in. It's just saying power, not showing any kind of fault. 
So we're gonna go ahead and plug it into the car. As you can see right now, no power going out. All right, we're gonna plug it in. I don't know if you can see that, but the car is charging. You see right there, it says charging. Verter fans us went on ahead and jumped up. It's not a problem with it. So the only thing that was wrong with it was BMS communication and this filter right here when I took it out. So testing it good. So I'll be able to use it for an EV charger. And I don't want to kill this battery out by pulling out so much at a time. So we're going to go ahead. All right, went on ahead and unplugged it, as you can see. As you can see now, only 26 watts coming out. You know, basically just this plug, little light and stuff being on. But not charging. All right, so now that we tested out everything is good, grow out's good, battery's good, you know, no kind of weird ground issues, just the L1 and L2 works. Uh, in the next video, I'm gonna get this stuff hooked up to some solar panels to make sure the solar's just gonna come directly in, go straight to the car. And if I can only use one battery, you know, maybe I can just leave it set up like that temporarily and just be able to charge my car by itself on its own system you know, just off of solar. So if you're interested in that, hey, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and thanks for watching.